As we all know, trolling of celebrities is a common pastime of people around the world. From small mistakes to failures to body shaming, celebrities are trolled everywhere, especially on social media. Whether it's on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, trolls are everywhere. You can't avoid them. So recently, it was no surprise that Miss Universe 2021, Harnas Kaur Sandhu, was body shamed for gaining weight and for looking ugly, as some of the trolls said. Yeah, yeah, pretty rude stuff, but that's internet. So Miss Universe Harnas Kaur Sandhu revealed that she has celiac disease. It's a debilitating disease. So I wanted to take some time to discuss that disease and tell you guys about it. Celiac disease is also known as celiac sprue, non-tropical sprue, as well as gluten-sensitive enteropathy. Enteropathy means basically inflammation of the intestine. And here is the key word. The cause of celiac disease is gluten protein, especially intolerance to gluten protein. The body cannot tolerate and the body cannot digest and absorb gluten protein properly. Some of the symptoms of celiac disease are chronic diarrhea, malabsorption of nutrients. So the nutrients that we take from food, they are not absorbed properly, leading to anemia and other kind of vitamin deficiencies, loss of appetite, abdominal pain. It causes severe pain in the stomach region. Feeling of bloatedness, so the person feels like they are full but they are actually hungry, they need nutrients but they are like feeling not hungry at all. So it is a long term autoimmune disorder, that's what celiac disease is. It is an autoimmune disorder, auto here means self. It is a disease where our own immune system attacks ourselves. Normally immune system is geared, It is. it has evolved to protect us from pathogens, and other harmful substances but in rare instances our immune system can turn against us and this is what happens in celiac disease. It affects small intestine mainly but it causes systemic problems so problems in many other areas. It mainly caused by as I said intolerance to gluten protein. Gluten protein is found in three major grains that we eat wheat, barley and rye. It is a protein found in these grains. So one of the major consequences of celiac disease is what is known as villus atrophy. Atrophy means anywhere where something shrinks or something basically does not get developed. So our small intestine especially absorbs nutrients that we get from food and it does so by using these villi these finger like projections that we have and in celiac disease because of the attack of the immune system especially in the small intestine these villi get reduced and this these are reduced to like this size and this is what causes malabsorption diarrhea and all kinds of problems this is a simulation of interaction of one of the important proteins of the immune system which is called the mhc2 major histocompatibility complex if you are interested or also known as human leukocyte antigen. This is one of the main proteins of the immune system and here it is shown interacting with the gluten protein. Celiac disease affects 1% of the global population and it is severely underdiagnosed because of its range of symptoms it is very very tricky to diagnose. Although there are immune tests as well as tests of antibodies but still it is really really tricky and it can take up to two years to correctly diagnose someone with celiac disease. It was originally described in childhood and in children but it can develop at any age. And it, it is also associated and can lead to diseases like type 1 diabetes and Hashimoto's thyroiditis which is a disease of the thyroid gland. It is more prevalent in females and severely underdiagnosed. 1% is a huge number of population, so it's just huge, but very, very few people are actually correctly diagnosed with celiac disease. There are genetic as well as environmental factors, especially mutations in many genes, including HLA gene, the one, the protein that we just saw, mutations in this gene are linked to celiac disease. And the only effective treatment is a gluten-free diet, although there are many biomarkers available for diagnosing celiac disease 
but effective treatment using antibodies or immunotherapy is still not currently available. So the only effective treatment right now is a gluten-free diet, which eliminates a lot of good options, especially bread and pasta and all this stuff. You have to eat specially made gluten-free bread or gluten-free pasta. Those are not as tasty, of course, and the person's lifestyle is severely restricted. So I think it's time for us to pause and not shame people for having a disease and we should empathize with them. They are also people.